Previously on Resident Evil Village. Oh, come on. That's so cheap. Not bad. Not bad, huh? Oh, Chris? Dude, this is fun. This fight is fun. I like this one. Oh, it feels good just being able to just slice through these guys. Let's go, dude. Oh my god, it's so nice being able to just kill them all. Alpha to squad. I've located the Megamycete. So now we can end this mess after all. About damn time. And two explosives armed. There's enough there to blow the whole village sky high. Let's get out of here and blow the damn place. Not before I end Miranda. I'm not taking any more chances. I'm going in. Roger that. Standing by. Captain, I have eyes on Miranda at the ceremony site. Keep your distance. Do not move until I give the order. I know it's too late now, but we really should have told Ethan the plan. There wasn't time. We didn't expect Miranda to act so soon. Even so, you should have told him. Yeah. This must be Miranda's lab. Tell him what he should and shouldn't do. What's this? Oh, this is all about the fucking guys. Subject name. This is more you. Uh, the Kado affinity is low, brain function surprisingly low, has caused drastic changes to internal organs, transforming them into organs similar to fish-like gills in a swim bladder. Too many defects, an unfit vessel for Eva. Evelyn? Maybe? The Al Alcina Dimitrescu, most favorable, normal. Regeneration rate is incredibly fast. The subject can heal an, an external wound within seconds and grow her nails into claws in mere moments. Rapid regeneration also means an increased body size. Due to hereditary blood disease, the subject must ingest human flesh and blood on a regular basis to maintain regeneration properties. I suspect that if the subject's regeneration is not properly balanced, then she may mutate uncontrollably. Okay. is Heisenberg, incredibly favorable and normal, has electronic organs similar to the electric ray, Narc Japon... what? Narc Japonokia? I don't know. These electric organs are connected to the subject's nervous systems, can therefore pass and control electricity through the entire body, allowing control of magnetic fields, which is used to move metal. Splendid specimen, but still an unfit, unfit vessel for EVA. Eva, the Avalyn, I don't know. The Donna Beneviento. Favorable, normal, although severe mental illness. Physically, she is no different from a regular human. However, she can secrete a signal-producing substance which controls plants infected by the mutamocyte. When humans absorb the, absor eh, absorb the pollen from a particular flower, she can cause them to have hallucinations. However, she is mentally underdeveloped and has divided her cadeau among her dolls in order to control them from a distance. An unfit vessel. Who will fit? So none of these people fit. Ugh. There it is. The cadeau. So they're using this to control the bioweapons. Yep. What are these? Dear Miranda, my deepest apologies for not meeting you in person. I would love nothing more than to visit your quaint village once more. However, I am incredibly busy. Then again, I suppose for an immortal woman such as yourself, you no longer remember this poor half-dead medical student in the snow. I have always cherished the revelations I came to 15 years ago when I stayed in your village. I was inspired by your research to think one could transform a human by infecting them with an organism. Positively visionary. I knew that with this knowledge I could achieve my own vision for the next step in human evolution, 
Even after two world wars and humanity on the cusp of another, my conviction never wavered. I realized, however, through the many nights of intellectual talk, you and I shared that your conviction differed from mine. You hoped to bring back a single dead person while I aimed to change the world. Your experiments on the mold would not have aided me in my endeavor to achieve an exponential infection. I thought a virus would be more effective. This is why, my dear, I had to leave you. I still regret never telling you goodbye. My apologies for reminiscing, I actually have news that I thought might please you. I have found the key to evolution. The progenitor, a, a virus found in Africa. I plan to start a company with friends and colleagues dedicated to the virus research. I will call it Umbrella. Okay, so these are the this is the origin story of the Umbrella Corporation. Just like the symbol in the cave that we spoke about, I am one step closer to making my vision a reality. I hope you will be able to achieve your goal someday too. You taught me so much, and for that I will be forever in your debt. Sincerely, your lifelong student, Oswell E. Spencer. And Spencer... Spencer, here. No way. So Spencer is the guy who owns the first... Who owns the mansion in the very first Resident Evil game. And he's like the whole start of this thing. So he stayed here? He stayed at the village... Years ago. Over here. Oh, this is probably like huge. Wait. Is that Evelyn? That looks like Evelyn. Oh my god, there's more pictures. Yeah, that's Evelyn right there. There's the team. Oh, I just saw Chris. There's, is that Chris? I think it's Chris. My Eva, it's been 100 years since I lost you to the Spanish flu. I was so powerless back then. But now, I can bring you back to life from the Megamocyte. I had to test your new vessel's regenerative abilities. I took her apart and revived her. Uh, all that is left is to merge her with the Megamocyte. The ceremony can finally begin. After I lost you, I was so stricken with grief that I wandered into a cave to die. I so wanted to be with you again, and that's when I found it. The Megamocyte. Completely by accident. When I touched a black substance, my mind was overcome with knowledge. The Megamocyte breaks down and absorbs the consciousness of those who have perished. I knew that if your consciousness was in there too, then there would be a way to bring you back. We just need the right vessel. When I returned to the village, I implanted the villagers with mold from the Megamocyte. That way I can control them experiment on them. I've experimented on hundreds of people just to find you the perfect vessel. I even tried to increase the efficiency of finding a vessel by creating a parasite I called Cado. Yet none of my experiments came to fruition. There were some, like Alcina, who were close to being perfect, but most turned into lichens. I was once approached by an organization who said they would assist me. I gave them some of the mold in your DNA. But all they created was another defect. Evelyn. Then again, not a complete failure. I learned of Rose thanks to them, and I knew she would be the perfect vessel. There was some interference, but I was able to verify her suitability. Now my research is finally complete. Eva, I have waited too long to see you again. Okay. So she's using the baby, Ethan's daughter, to revive her daughter, Miranda's daughter. Because apparently she died like hundreds of years ago. Thing. Oh shit! Show me your hands. Umbrise, this is Alpha. Where is Miranda right now? Still does her only sight. Whatever she's doing, she's staying put. God damn. It really is you. Well, you're not gonna be happy. <laughs> you're not gonna be happy what happened to Ethan. I was caught. Houston experiments. Oh. What did you say, Mia? Mia Winters? In the flesh. What's the situation up there? Kind of a war going on. Nothing we can't handle. Don't get distracted. Stick to the mission. I'm headed to the ceremony site. Wait. You can't leave me here. You promised, damn it. You said that you would keep us safe. We did everything that you asked. We moved over here, everything. And I didn't care. So long as we were together. So you tell me, 
Where is my husband? Where is my daughter? Uh oh. Go on. Yep. I couldn't save him, but I can save Rose. <laughs> It's not safe here after all. What do you mean he's gone? He's dead. He's dead. I'm sorry, Mia, but we have to leave. We have to destroy this village. No, you're wrong. I tried to keep this a secret, but... You don't understand how special he is. What you mean, Willis? What's going on here? Oh! Obviously we're playing as Ethan, that's his iconic hand and jacket. Okay, so Ethan's not dead. What's going on? Oh fuck, not you again. Yeah, it's cold. It's fucking winter season out here. Oh no, man. How did I get here? God, freezing. Yeah, I just realized something. This is not the area where he died. Dead? I mean, Miranda. She. No. I still have to save Rose. Wrong! It wasn't Miranda. You were always dead. What are you saying? I can still. See? Hello, Resident Evil 7. How are you? Three years ago. The Baker House. Ow. I remember that. You were murdered by Jack. You died there three years ago. We're dead? Wait. Th that's, that's impossible. No way. You shouldn't even be able to walk around. Quit messing with my head. You shouldn't be walking. Bro, you! <laughs> what, what am I? I, 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 I did all that. <laughs> Rose. Now do you get it? <laughs> Your whole body is nothing but mold. <laughs> oh. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Vin Diesel's no. gonna be there. Rose! <laughs> Did you say family? I have to save my daughter. You're already dead. <laughs> dead! <laughs> 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 
I will save Rose. Father of the fucking year, right here. Like, goddamn, father of the year, bro. Maybe the decade. I'll save you no matter what. Oh my god! This man will go through hell to get his daughter back. That is badass. Where are we? This looks like a cabin. At last, he awakes. Oh shit, it's the merchant! Where am I? My carriage. You were having a nightmare. Duke? Your battle with Heisenberg was a sight to see. But to think Veranda would show herself. How long have I been out? Not long till dawn. Duke, I need a favor. Take me to Miranda. I assumed as much and am already on the way. We should arrive shortly. What a guy. Thank you. <laughs> but Ethan, are you sure of this? Your body is, well, falling apart. <sighs> yes. Foolish of me to ask. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of foolish questions, who or what are you? <laughs> Even I can't quite answer that. Huh. We're here. I owe you one. Mr. Winters, I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. Are you ready? Yeah. I have to be. <coughs> okay. Gotta go. Get Rose back from Miranda. Okay, here we go. Which way do we go? I'm guessing this is the only way, right? Oh yeah, they're setting me up for a fight here. Oh yeah, they're setting me up for a fight. Okay. This is definitely the finale here, so you know as much as I would just say, alright, we'll see you guys in the next episode. I'm not gonna do that to you. No no.